Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and uh, this is going to be my review for ReZero, Re -Zero, Starting Life in Another World, Episodes 5, 6, and 7. Um, just so you guys know, this was all recorded way back in, that was way back ago, <laughs> that was way back in January, I just realized that, that was way back after I had my dang surgery, and after I had mostly recovered. Jesus. But, yeah, um, I don't know the context of most of this, but obviously, um, we got to see, you know, Rem and, dang it. It was, the two sisters, I can't remember what the other girl's name is, but I know Rem. Uh... But, obviously, we saw him, well, die again in the mansion for some strange reason. And he has no idea what happened. So, he's trying to do things better, trying to figure out what is causing him to die, because he shouldn't have died, to be honest. Nothing had happened to him except maybe, I'm assuming poison got him. That's what I was thinking at the time, probably, because that guy said there was- He just went to sleep, and then he, did, and he just ended up doing it again. So, I don't know. Anyway, he's trying to get better. He's trying to learn how to read and write in that language. And how to cut vegetables properly and everything. And... Uh, it gets to the point where he had died before. And... Something attacks him... And kills him while he's, uh, it's like he's sick. Where he's, he's vomiting, he's getting, he's got, he got blurry vision, he's just not feeling good, and then he comes out and boom, someone kills him. And, like I said, we have no idea what the heck is the cause here. Or why he still keep, why he still keeps doing this. Why does he keep, like, restarting, like, in a saved game? Or like when you save a game, you restart at the last point you save. Why is it? Why is it doing that? I don't get it. Anyway, he tries. He's like, like I said, trying to figure this out without telling them what's going on. Because how do you explain to them that every time you die, you go back to a certain point? That's kind of crazy. And this world has magic and other dimensions and stuff. So I mean, that shouldn't be behind the, beyond the realm of possibility here. Anyway. I would think what I would do is try to find some way of proving that to them, at the very least, so that way they know if you start spouting nonsense, it was from a previous life, or at least show them proof that, yeah, this is going on. I don't know how the heck he would do it. If you guys have any ideas on that, let me know, because that's what he should have done. Warn the others that, hey, something is happening to kill me, and I end up back at a certain point in the past. And I don't know what's going on. And he thinks that maybe he can ca if he goes a certain point, he goes and gets to a certain point. But instead of staying in the mansion, he leaves and goes to a way ways outside the mansion, thinking that maybe I can keep an eye on it and see who the heck goes in and tries to kill me. Someone does try to kill him outside the mansion, and it turns out that this is it's Rem. Rem is the one that's trying to kill him, and apparently she thinks that he's, I'm guessing, part of some group that was tormenting her and her sister in there. I don't know what the freak was going on, but yeah, she's bound and determined to kill him, and he has no idea why. He's essentially an innocent bystander and all this because he has no clue what the heck's going on ever since he arrived in this world. And he ends up, you know, obviously dying again. And now he's freaking out because Rem killed him before. And he thinks that maybe something's going on. So he goes to find Beatrice, the other girl that's living at the, in the, in the mansion. I don't know if that's, uh, dang it. I forgot her name. Um, the other girl's friend, relative, sister, whatever. I don't know what the freak she is to her, but. Yeah, she goes and finds Be he goes and finds Beatrice, and he asks her something, and she tells him 
that he is cursed. And she sets up a contract with him to dispel the curse. And he thinks that maybe this is what was killing him before. Or what Rem was sensing on him before. Or because the first time he had died without any kind of hint from Rem. The second time it was a combination of essentially... uh, I don't know what the frick was going on with him. And then somebody killed him. And then he ended up getting killed by Rem. So now he's trying to thinking maybe this curse is what was... What either Rem was sensing on him. Or what partially had killed him the first time. The second time. So he ends up getting the curse removed. And he waits inside the forbidden room. Thinking that you know, nobody's going to find me in here. Nobody else had to get in here except me. And Beatrice. So he'd be safe in there. And he wastes the entire night and he comes out and finds out that Rem was killed instead and her sister is none too pleased. She thinks that he has something to do with this because he's kind of freaking out like, why the heck did Rem die instead of me? And he runs out to, I think, the cliff from before and Beatrice finds him and essentially he tells her that I have to die in order to... He essentially tells her that, yeah, something's going on, I don't know what's going on. And then her sister shows up, and he essentially apologizes and tells them that I don't know what's going on, but you guys, I, I care for every one of you guys because you guys all gave me so much. And he ends up killing himself and resetting it again. As for what the heck is going on, uh, I think we find that out in the next few episodes, at least partially. Partially, at least. But... Yeah, this is all just very insane. Why is this even happening to him in the first place? Why is he resetting like this? I don't get it. Anyway, I will get this uploaded. If I missed anything important, or if I missed anything in the reaction that needed to be known, let me know, and I'll see you guys next time.